Venice Beach, the National Mall, and the Shibuya Crossing, as you see right here, are all no-fly zones. In order to capture drone-like creative shot, or somebody might call it no drone, no problem shot, you will need a long invisible pole that is at least two meters long. And longer the pole, the easier for you to remove the operator or even a full-size car, as you see right here in post-production. It is a true essence of the invisible selfie stick. It even makes you and your car become invisible. So, which long pole should you get and how long? Well, the flimsy pole like the one you can get from the in-stock, you see official website right here, is not going to work. It is not invisible as it bend like that. It is also a safety hazard, especially in an area with lots of people around you. After testing many travel pole, I decided on the Carbon Fiber 270 Pro Classic right here, which is great for GoPro Max and Insta 1R with the boosted battery. Well, 270 Pro Classic is not perfect. It is still too long to carry around. And today, I finally get my hands on the 270 Pro Backpack S right here, a new design with a minimum length in only 16 inches instead of 23 inches like the old design right here or the in-stock with the 3 meter pole or the telestand pole which you can get on the internet. Let's get a hands on and see if the 270 Pro Backpack S is the world's best long pole for action and PC cameras. So the first thing and probably also the most important thing is how sturdy is this monopod is. So this monopod is really unique. Right now I have the GoPro Max on top and in here you can scroll that and then you can just extend this section and that gives you a normal monopod like right now, like right there. And as you see like this is a really thick, this is a really thick monopod so it's really sturdy. Uh, this is probably the best on snowboarding and doing a reverse grip and all the other cool stuff that you can do your electric skateboard one wheel that would be the perfect position way better than your your cheaper indoor to see invisible selfie stick and definitely it's invisible because it's not bending at all and then we're at section two again we we'll unscrew that right now we had section two extend it's also still really thick look at that it's still really thick as you see like the whole thing is still really straight. Look at that, really, really straight. It's still really good. Uh, now it's kind of dangerous for you to like ride an electric skateboard one wheel with thick cap length, but this gotta be really good on, you know, drone shot right there. But as you know, my favorite is for sure is fully extend three meter pole. So now we got three meter. Like so. And let me step back so you can see me in the full frame. So you see like, it's really sturdy and still pretty straight, look at that, it's really straight. I'll pull into the camera, right there. See, it's still really straight. And it's a little bit bent, but again, now if you do a comparison with the triple Insta360 pole, so actually let's do a comparison right now. So right here we have the one arm connect to the Insta360 three meter pole right here. And let's do a side by side comparison. Look at that. Now if you really compare them, you see that how, how flimsy this thing is and how sturdy this thing is. Let me just do that. You see it? Right? And if you really want to see it, look at that. Oh, that's where you see it. Look at that. Like how flimsy this thing is. Okay, so now we actually swap the two camera. Let me just go to the end edge of it. Make sure that all the way to the end. Okay. So as you see right here on the left now is the install using one hour with the boosted battery base. On the right now I swap with the GoPro Max on the flimsy install to see pole right here so you see it bouncing around. So again we're gonna do the same thing. Go back. We'll point to the camera. You see both camera right there. You see I move it. 
Now let's look at the actual 360 footage from both cameras. On the left, we have the official install 360 3 meter pole with the GoPro Max. And on the right, we have the 270 Backpack S with the install 360 1R with boosted battery base. And the total weight is more than the GoPro Max. The result is very obvious. On the left, you can still see the pole and it actually affects the stabilization. On the right, it's invisible and it is very rigid. It leads to more stable footage doing movements. So there you have it. The brand new 270 Backpack S is the best and the longest selfie pole in the market in late 2020. So another feature of the Backpack S compared to the regular classic one is right here. Let me put it down for, for now. Do you see right here, the Backpack S Hopefully you see it. See, there is a rubber band right here connect to the bottom part right here. So it's tightly air sealed. So this whole thing can go under sea water. So Backpack S is waterproof and including sea waterproof. So the sand will not get into and, and destroy your monopod. So it's really good for beach and ocean activity. So when you done with your beach and ocean activity, you can go into open this and wash this uh, in uh, with clean your water to get rid of the, the sea water and also the sand and everything to make it clean and neat so that's why this thing can actually open like that okay the other really important thing is compared to see right here uh, the old classic the old classic doesn't have a one four screw right here to connect to a tripod leg see right here it just does not have that that's the old version you open that, you basically just get the same idea of washing this thing. But it doesn't have a tripod screw. The new version actually have it. And also the base right here, put it down. The base right here is reinforced CNC aluminum base. So it's really strong. So the whole idea of Backpack S is to replace both your classic and another really great product that probably everybody loves in the music industry is the Bushman V2 uh, monopod. So this thing is supposed to replace both the Bushman and the long pole, the right. So when you, when you use the Bushman, actually let me grab the Bushman base right here. It's to connect the Bushman tripod leg and the Bushman weight right here and connect it directly into the base of the backpack S, like so. And then unscrew this part and extend the, extend it like so. Remember this part is really thick, right? So really sturdy. So now if you put it down, tighten my, my one arm right here. And this give you the perfect, like the perfect virtual tour camera. Right here, see, really sturdy, you hit it, it's not gonna fall. And also really sturdy, so even wind blow, you do have time lapse, it's still really sturdy. So that is your replacement of your Bushman Monopod V2. Thanks to the weight from Bushman and the reinforced aluminum base right here from the S. Another really cool feature that like is attention to detail, right? If you just unscrew the GoPro mount right here and get my one R off. Do you see this little thing right here? Have a rubber band right here. So allow you to like, if you first just like put this screw into the base, like so. Get in. And if you're not strongly tighten it, you see the camera actually like doing that. But this is a good thing because with this air shield rubber band, you can really like cram this thing in to squish the rubber band to get it really, really tight. Now this thing is really tight. And also this area is not gonna be like, uh, there's a lot of problems sometimes like even people using too much strength to tighten their GoPro screw into the GoPro mount and it got destroyed this area. With this air seal rubber band, it actually is not got destroyed so you can just unscrew it and we'll pop it back out. But you can tighten up really really tight to make sure that it's really like there and you will not drop your camera when you go underwater and activity. So that is a really cool attention to detail feature that they put into the design to make this the best 
Mang for GoPro and Insta360 right here. And also you see this hole right here. If you tie it too hard, you need a leverage, you can put a, you know, a metal stick right here and then uncrank it and get it out. The biggest reason why you need a long pole is to stimulate drone shots in an area that you cannot legally fly a drone. But you have to remove the operator, the shuttle, and the pole itself to really get a realistic drone shot. Lots of the talks of invisible selfie stick on the internet are not really invisible as you can see the operator, the pole shuttle, Having a long pole make the operator and the shuttle super small in frame so you can remove it easier following this tutorial I made. The 270 Backpack S is so rigid and in such a good height, I can even remove my Jeep as you see right here. To refresh your memory on how to remove anything in any 260 videos with After Effects Content Aware film, let me show you the magic again to make my Jeep disappear on the road. First, reframe your 360 videos using the GoPro FX Reframe plugin or DaVinci Resolve following this tutorial. Then render that reframe video in ProRes for faster performance to avoid using Dynamic Link. As you see this small clip right here as an example, we are going to remove my entire Jeep. Go ahead and select a pen tool Draw a garbage mask around the Jeep. Go ahead in the mask selection area, select subtract, add 10 pixel feathers. The great thing about using a rigid long pole like the 270 Backpack S is the camera position is not moving much, even in a very fast moving car. So we do not need to manually track the mask to follow the car, which save you lots of time. Go to window, content aware fill, Set the alpha expansion like 5 pixels, fill method to objects, and the range is the entire work area. Go ahead and hit generate fill layers. Let Adobe AI to do the magic for you. After a short coffee break, the Jeep, the driver, and the operator are gone like magic. Thank you so much for watching this practical review and tutorial on how to achieve the truly invisible in your 360 videos. Next time, if you see someone, including Insta360 themselves, posting hashtag invisible selfie state, and you can see the shadow, the pole, or the operator cell in the video, please comment and tell them to watch this tutorial so they can fix their problems. If you are subscribed to Creator Up and watch this tutorial, your next video will be just better than anything else out there. And that is exactly why you should subscribe to this channel. Hit the notification bell and don't miss any future tutorials. I did put in lots of hard work sharing my professional knowledge to you so you can upskill faster and create better content. So please consider also, follow me on Instagram, like and share this video on your social media. The next video will be in-depth editing tutorial to teach you how to create this crazy 260 transition from start to finish with the 270 Backpack S and some post-production magic in DaVinci Resolve or Adobe Premiere. You don't want to miss that. See you in the next tutorial.